Hello guys, Kudos here and welcome back to another World of Warcraft add-on tutorial video. Uh, this one is going to be about a single add-on called TSM or Trade Skill Master. It is quite a complex add-on though, so it has a lot of sub-features that you should probably get some information about because this add-on will help you out with a lot of different features, making life easier for yourself and giving you the opportunity to make a lot of money. So, or gold in this case. Uh, so this add-on is basically, uh, it has auctioning functions, it has uh, accounting, <laughs> accounting functions, destroying functions, crafting functions. It helps you with shopping, vendoring, and storing items in your bank and all that good stuff. Um, so starting off, the most important part of this add-on is definitely the auctioning part. Uh, let's go into the auction house and have a look. Um, first of all, the interface of the the UI here is a bit different when you when you use TSM. I'm just going to show you this this starting off, just give you an example of what TSM is, and then we'll go into the configurations and stuff afterwards. So we have the shopping tab, the au uh, the auctioning tab, and auction DB or auction database. As you can see here on the top of this add-on, it says scanning the auction house in game is no longer necessary. Uh, well, that's because uh, what's special about this this TSM add-on is that it it uh, syncs up with the uh, database add-on for or the database for uh, the different prices for uh, for regional prices for uh, for items on the auction house. So you don't have to go and scan your auction house to know the current pricing in in regions or uh, the market value for items on your server. Uh, this makes it considerably easier to to sell items, knowing what price they're uh, they're going for and knowing how much the stuff you get are wor is worth, uh, generally. Uh, additionally, it has a mailing function, which lets you open a lot of mail at the same time. It lets you send mail uh, in, <laughs> uh, or send items, depending on which group you assign uh, an item to. Uh, basically, you can send, uh, like, uh, you can design a, a group for, for example, like enchanting items. You can send all enchanting I items to a specific character, and keep certain, like, uh, 10 of each item, for example, uh, for yourself on, on another character. Uh, you can also quick send stuff and do a lot of stuff with mailing. There is also a sim similar feature like the mail uh, mailing function there. You can deposit items in your bank every time you go to, to the bank. Uh, but I don't really consider that feature to be all that useful. In addition, no, uh, additional to, to those, those features there, um, there is also um, crafting features. So uh, in addition to giving you a new interface for, for your crafting, um, you can assign uh, different. Um, uh, you can tell what the percentage increase uh, for an item that you craft is uh, by uh, uh, from the raw materials. So, for example, if you have a let's say an enchant that you're curious about uh, whether you should buy the materials for to craft it, you can check the percentage increase from uh, how much it costs to buy the materials uh, or how much you get from selling the um, final product. So that's really really useful. Um, so we have uh, like an enchant for uh, let's say a, a gift for uh, our, uh, our our neck for example. You can see that there is a 163% increase, a profit of 328 gold on average uh, from, from if I bought the materials and then crafted the item. Which is really really nice and you can see it's really super easy to make a profit if you sort this by the percentage or, or the profit here. And if you want to craft something you just click the item and ooh, it appears in your queue here. Uh, like right there, and then you can just start crafting when you have the materials by clicking this craft next button. So the, that's some of the features that TSM has. Uh, I didn't really show you the shopping functions because I'll go into that after I show you show you some some other stuff here. Um, because this add-on requires some uh, additional functionality that you have to download to your computer to get it to work. So let's jump into our web browser and go to trade and search for and Google Trade Skill Manager. Or trade skill master, sorry, not manager. I keep calling it manager. It's master, of course. So here we are on the trade skill master website. Uh, making gold in World of Warcraft has never been easier. That's really true. So I, as you can see here, there is the WoW add-on. That's the part I showed you right now. We have the desktop application. We have the web database. So um, the the guys who are hosting trade skill master, they have their own website uh, with uh, multiple tools for helping gold makers. That's basically uh, like advertisements for their their stuff. Uh, however, this feature is completely free, so you don't have to uh, you don't have to pay anything to to get TSM. Uh, you have to make a user though to to log into the 
the, the web page to download the uh, the desktop application and the desktop application also requires you to log into it every time you use it because it syncs up to to the database of uh, the World of Warcraft, Warcraft auction house uh, so if you click on learn more about the add-on you get a basic overview of what this add-on entails we have trade skill master core you can download all these by the way by clicking this link to uh, to curse.com or you can use another uh, another really really useful application called um, the Curse client, where you can download add-ons simply by clicking here, get more add-ons and then searching for them. That's how I get my add-ons and manage them usually. Um, for example, here you can see uh, when a new add-on has an update or things like that. And you need to keep uh, using this to update your, uh, your make your sh make sure that TSM is updated as well. So here you can see we have Trace Guild Master, Accounting, App Helper, Auction DB. Uh, this one is no longer necessary, I believe. Auctioning, Crafting, Destroying, Mailing, Shopping, Warehousing. And wow auction oh that's wow auction i don't think that's really useful anymore it's either that one or auction db uh, because uh, previously they used to have uh, these two databases for um, uh, for the pricing but now one of them has been uh, been removed anyway so we have the core here trade master core uh, trade skill master core um allows you to organize items that you care about in a simple yet powerful manner so you can make these groups of items and you can also um, use these groups to send the mail to other uh, other characters for example like I explained previously uh, accounting you can export like uh, different stuff for for mails trades and how much money you make into Excel or uh, like uh, documents and stuff like that to get some spreadsheets going uh, app helper um, it syncs the uh, the add-on with the desktop uh, application, so that's really necessary to have. Auction DB uh, makes the uh, these things visible: uh, the the pricings for the region, the historical price, and the market value and stuff like that. Uh, auctioning uh, is the one I showed you: the auction out <laughs> auction part of the add-on, the interface, and stuff like that. Shopping, you're able to snipe prices. I'll show you that eventually. Crafting was the one I showed you just now with. Um, with the crafting interface. Destroying, this one is really, really cool as well. You get this uh, interface that you can mill, prospect, and disenchant items, uh, depending on uh, whether they are, um, you can set certain parameters for uh, whether an item should be counted as a, uh, as a, being uh, like targeted for, for prospects or disenchants, basically, uh, by selecting them in certain groups and stuff. Uh, mailing, I just showed you that one as well. Shopping and uh, vendoring. Vendoring, I haven't really been using or warehousing. These two um, allows you to buy quick, uh, <laughs> buying items from merchants quickly and selling them. Uh, I use scrap instead, basically. Um, but you can use them freely here. Um, slash commands for moving items are not really uh, that important because the core uh, are these on top here. And you can download these from curse.com, as I said. If you go back to the desktop application, uh, this one is a simple application. You just download this one, it, you install it, and then you select uh, which regions you play on. For example, if you play on the EU, if you play on in the US or uh, another part of the world, um, or and you can also select certain. Uh, like I, th I believe you can select uh, as many. Uh, let's check it out. Realm selection here. So you go into your your. Uh, like drop down menu up here and you select the certain um, like certain realms you want to connect to so these only work for you EU and US apparently so uh, and you choose your realms that you want to ha collect data from so the more realms you have selected here the more data the application will download basically uh, if we go back now though um, you can see that the uh, <coughs> let's let's open the add-on instead uh, let's open the application down here so it appears down at your um, ah come on down at the bar here, if you click this little icon here, there you get this cog. Uh, it appears just like this one, ah, similar to the image. That's shocking. So here you can see the servers that I have uh, <laughs> subscribed to, uh, Argent Dawn, Defies Brotherhood, and Raven Quest, which are the, the servers I play on mainly. Uh, you can also check my, here's my, my add-on versions, and you can keep those versions updated with, uh, with curse.com or the curse client, as I said. You can also make backups uh, in your, your folders. Um, I have my backups synced in my Google Drive folder, so I can uh, obtain them on my laptop or on my other computer pretty easily to get a uh, get all my um, trace skill uh, like profiles and stuff synced up across m many computers. You can also uh, export accounting here uh, to get some spreadsheets, as I said. Uh, if you go into settings, though, uh, you can select the folders for your WoW directory and set up realms. Uh, you can also decide if you want to run this thing on startup. I usually have this thing uh, minimized and starting whenever I. I start up my computer.
You can also get some notifications, although I only get them when the ad needs an update. Um, add on update, should probably turn that one on as well if there is an update for, for an add on, add on there. Uh, how long man is like the frequency of backing up the add on is also useful. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the, this whole entire thing. And it's entire, entirely free and requires you to, to log on to use it, of course. Um, so yeah, uh, ooh, went AFK there. Uh, the TSM will receive uh, these data here. If you mouse over here, for example, if I look at this uh, this fractured temporal crystal here, you can see that the, it, the TSM accounting tells us how many I've uh, purchased. Uh, when I last purchased one, it was 405 days ago. Um, you can also see that there is uh, how many I have on each character there. I, I think that's trade monster. Yeah, it's a trade skill monster info there, giving me information on how uh, which character of mine has has a certain item. And by the button there, you can see I have the same information, although that's from another add-on that I showed you in the add-on video, um, which is called bag. Uh, what is it called? The the um, uh, this one right here, um, the bag add-on. Ah, I can't remember the name though, but check out the video and you'll, you'll get the name there. Uh, additionally, you can see the minimum buyout, the market value, and the region market average value, region sale average, region sale rate, and region average daily sold. Now, some of these are more important than others. For example, the minimum buyout just basically tells you what this thing is going uh, for right now on the auction house. So the price for, for buying one fractured crystal is 7 gold, 19 silver. Uh, the market value on on this thing is usually 8 gold 35 silver on this server. Uh, in the region though, it's a lot lower, so it's uh, about 7 gold. Um, so uh, that tells you a lot about the server economy and how much gold is circulating on your current server, which is nice to know. Um, and the lastly one is region average daily sold. That's uh, really useful for telling how many cells each day. If if that's a pretty low number, then it's a really low chance for you that you're going to sell the item you have uh, put on the auction house. For example, if I take a look at these, uh, you can see that the, the rate changes quite a bit uh, from from these or, or Savage Blood. They go for a lot, 903 <laughs> daily sold in my region. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, that's the what the the application does and the uh, the database download uh, does for you. So you don't have to search around using auctioneer or uh, you know Wow auction uh, for uh, for searching through the auction house manually. That's really nice. So let's start selling some stuff, shall we? Um, let's go to the the post box here, filled with a lot of eggs now since it's Easter or or I guess not Easter, but it's. Uh, it's Noble Garden, uh, and here you can see I have a lot of stuff that I want to resell because these guys, these things inspired a couple of days ago. So let's open them the mail by clicking this open here, and you can also like sort the um, the uh, the mail here by clicking on sales, buys, cancel, or expired. Uh, in this case, if I clicked on expires, then the, only the uh, the expired um, uh, the expired uh, Items would be be shown, and I could open only the expired mail there. So that's really nice functionality. So as you can see, I get these automatically put in my inbox. Uh, however, it can only open 50 at a time. Uh, if not, you need to wait for about 30 seconds until you can open the next mailbox. Um, and you can also reload, and that one that timer will uh, will start anew. So sometimes it's quicker to to reload. Other times it's quicker to uh, to just wait for. For the uh, the counter to go to, to uh, zero, so if we go back to the auction house here, and I want to sell my stuff, so as you can see, the these things, um, for example, the mark of the frost wolf sells for about fifteen thousand or fifteen hundred ninety eight gold. So if I just shift uh, hold shift while mousing over this thing, you get the amount for the entire stack. So I can see all my fourteen uh, fourteen enchants here are worth about twenty two k. Currently, as a minimum buyout, which is a really nice price. If I also hold um, and hold shift while clicking on this thing, uh, you can see the add-on is automatically searching for this specific item uh, on the auction house. And I can see all the current items that are for sale here. So as you guys can see, this stuff is going for about 1597 for, uh, that's the cheapest one, they get sorted uh, by how much uh, the, the lowest price is. Uh, I, I have it sorted by percentage of market value, as you can see, uh, this currently goes for a little bit above what is uh, it usually sells for. You can also sell them to be lowest per bid, if you want to like bid on something that isn't as high, for example, you can save about 300 gold here if you buy a bid on this thing and it survives the 48 hours. I highly doubt it will, though. 
Um, so you can also you can yeah use these things to sort you know that guy that stuff the guys you can snipe things that are two hours left for example this one is really expensive though so don't do that you can see the red text indicating the the expense so if you want to if you want to buy this thing you can just click buy out and then you get this option here to uh, buy this item for uh, for fifteen ninety seven I'm not going to do that I'm going to click post here and we can get this little this little uh, window up and you can select the maximum stacks you want to want to put into uh, the auction house so let's let's uh, sell 10 of these so you can select 10 stacks of one uh, we can also do um, like five stacks of two for example um, so that's an option uh, but we'll let's make them 10 um, 10 stacks of one here uh, as you can see the total deposit only has 18 silver so you don't really have to have anything to lose by by putting this stuff up on the auction house I'm selecting 48 hours just for the fact that having these things uh, it's a more of a hassle to go and and put this stuff up on the auction house they they sell fairly fairly often as with a rate of uh, uh, 680 that's not high well I guess the rating for for these are a lot lower than the other ones oh well so let's create uh, an auction for for 10 of these just pushing this uh, the little timer here will put all of these stuff automatically up for you making things super easy so that's basically how you sell and, and, and buy stuff. Now when it comes to buying stuff quickly, you can have uh, Trade Skill Manager make macros for you. Uh, so if you click on the macro setup right here in TSM, you can uh, you can uh, make an add-on that makes purchasing stuff a lot quicker and uh, and faster for you. Uh, quicker and faster, that's double the, uh, double the amount of, of uh, words there for the money. So you can also uh, click to choose uh, the whether you want uh, separate macros for, for crafting and destroying stuff. For example, if you want to destroy uh, your uh, with via enchanting, uh, disenchanting or, or prospecting and stuff like that, uh, or milling. You can also select, um, I should have these selected here the buyout the uh, the confirmation button and the cancel button as well if you include all of these these will basically be made into a macro by tsm and then you can simply click the macro down here on your key bindings to make purchases easier so i selected up on the scroll wheel as well you can use the scroll wheel to uh, to make the macro work if you want to while you are using the auction house interface so i create the macro and i bind my scroll wheel to this this function here now, if I open my macros right now, you can see that this add-on has created a TSM destroy there. Uh, it has, oh, I mean, it has included this TSM destroy functionality into a simple one-click add-on right here with all of these button confirmations. So if I go in here and I decide I wanted to uh, to buy some uh, some modes of harmony, for example, uh, then the auction house will scan through all of the modes of harmony on the auction house, and then I'll be able to to buy those by clicking buy out. And then I can click on the the one down here, which is the the, the key that macro is bound to. Or alternatively, I can just simply click one now while this one is selected, and it will open the buyout menu. Click one again, and you can purchase and buy a stuff, uh, buy the thing once more. This is really useful if there, you know, someone posts like a cloth stack with one um, one cloth in e each uh, each uh, auction. So you can basically just go through a lot of auctions by simply clicking on this thing multiple times. Or alternatively, if you have a scroll wheel that has like infinite scroll functionality, you can simply click a Control and start the scroll wheel by rolling it upwards and it'll purchase everything for you automatically basically so that's super super useful so make this macro here and keep it in your your general macro area for for all your characters uh, for tsm though it's really important to have a certain setup so you want to go into your options here this is the options indicated by the card and you have certain profiles so i decided to make a profile for for all of my servers so I have one uh, one option here for Defies Brotherhood and one for Raven Quest um, I'm using the same uh, option for uh, and Argent Dawn of course so I have one option for all my characters on each server uh, because you have to change some names and stuff for for mailing because you can't really mail stuff cross server uh, except for, for buy an account stuff but that doesn't really a TSM doesn't handle buy an account items uh, so here we have all of these modules these aren't really I'm I haven't really de uh, delved into them too much because they're these basically involve the scale, uh, the frames for for all your the different aspects of this. For example, the mailing stuff you can delete empty mail, uh, em empty um, NPC mail, for example. Uh, these are options you should probably just play around with. Uh, here you can set the levels for uh, the item level for disenchanting. For example, if you don't want to disenchant items automatically that are bo above level item level 700, for example, then you can change that right here in the shopping in the shopping area. That's pretty pretty weird place to to keep that one. Although I would have kept that in destroying though. 
that's pretty strange. And here you can set the maximum disjunct quality there. So it's uh, currently at rare or... Uh, yeah, oh, oh, this is for purchasing items that you, you, you are going to, to flip for, for enchanting. Flipping basically means that you, you buy something on the auction house and you craft it into something else and resell the, the, the thing you crafted for profit. That's flipping. Or, or you break something down and make it into something else and sell it for, for a profit. So, um, yeah, these options, play around with them. They are stored in the profile that you make for your... Uh, your, your server. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Uh, additionally, we have the groups uh, like uh, option here in Trade Skill Manager, so we can make certain item groups. For example, I've made an Ankirage uh, option, I made an Archaeology option right here, and uh, this is the group items on the right side, and you have all of your other items that are not in a particular group on the left side. So it's a good idea to keep everything sorted into certain groups. For example, I have enchanting items in a certain group here, and I have essences in one. Uh, these you can make yourself. I have herbs in one. These herbs are really uh, a really easy way to show this. Or, or I mean, ores for example here. Or with black rock ore and true iron ore. So if I want to here in uh, import items, uh, you can export like strings and stuff. So you can uh, link to to other people uh, the the settings you have. Uh, you can also name the group uh, and delete it if you want to. You can also make parent groups and child child groups if you want to have like certain certain options here so if you to want to if you want to create a new group for example you want to create a uh, uh, let's say a, uh, a cloth group I already have one though but let's make a cloth group so you make a cloth group here and you can see oh no uh, all of my cloths are there is no cloths in this group but I have a wind wool cloth here um, that I want to add so I click this add button and now all these uh, these items are considered uh, as a cloth like a preset for for the wind wool cloth however if I have another group also called cloth you can see that I no longer can add this item to that group so to do that I have to remove it again and then I have to add it to, to this cloth group instead okay so why do you want to make groups well you can use groups to to buy stuff or you can sell stuff with with these groups so you have auctioning, crafting, you can basically do all of this stuff with, with the groups. Um, so here you can see I have some mailing stuff. Uh, mailing operations for, for archaeology, cloth, and enchanting, for example. So if I go into my, uh, my, uh, my, previous, uh, my previous group here, um, let's delete this one though, because I don't really need that group. So let's go into the cloth here. Uh, if I go into management, then you can see I have, um, oh not management, where is it? Operations, right here, operations. So as you, see, as you can see, we can assign different operations to each group. So we have auctioning operations, crafting, mailing, shopping, warehousing. And I have already added a mailing option right here. So if I if I go into this cloth option here, I can change these to, to any of the other, uh, other options that I've set up for mailing, for example. I'm, I'm gonna use mailing as an example here because it's really, really super useful. So if I click on this this link here, I'll be taken to the the groups uh, or the operation section here, and I get to this mailing mailing part. Now cloth mailing here, I can select the target player of whom I want to send the uh, the items to. So I selected this guy I'm currently on because he's a tailor, and I can select how many of the cloths I want to keep on the character who is sending them. So that's useful if you want to keep like certain items in your stack. Uh, you can also set the max amount to send every time. For example, you can set to max send one stack at a time or or stuff like that. Also restocking, uh, that's basically if the um, if you want to keep a current in inventory check there. Uh, but I usually keep it like this and send all of them to another character. You can also create like certain strings here and relationships and if they get some items then you can uh, set a trigger for another operation and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I call this cloth mail uh, because that's like I usually add this uh, name of the group with a mail at the end to make things easier for me to to, uh, to separate from each other, which is really nice. Uh, crafting works basically the same. I haven't really created any crafting uh, functionality. The I find it to be uh, I like to micromanage crafting. I don't really like to automatically uh, automatic craft stuff because I lose. Uh, I feel like I lose a lot of control over what's going on. Same with auctioning and shopping as well. Uh, or auctioning and shopping. Auctioning is basically when you put stuff up and shopping is when you buy stuff. So that's like the, the terms that, that TSM is using. Whereas thing is groups, you can basically automatically store things in your bank if you if you put them in certain in a certain group. So uh, if I want to store all my cloths in, in a bank when I when I go to the bank then that's a function for the cloth group for example. 
So let's let's check out the, how that that feature works. So I go over to the uh, the mailbox and I uh, I'm going to send the uh, the true iron ore here uh, to to my my blacksmith. So uh, as you can see, the uh, the group for for uh, my ores here they have this operation called ore mail, which is to target the player Akam and send all the ores to him. Uh, so yeah, that's nice. You can see the ores here, only black rock and true iron. If I click here on TSM groups, there we go, and I click on, I select, uh, deselect all the groups and only the ores here, for example, and click mail selected group. What is going to happen now is th these, uh, this ore here, these will automatically be removed and sent to a calm. So let's do that. Boop, there we go, mail sent, and everything is clean and done. So this is a nice way to automatically uh, automate a lot of the like um, hindrance stuff, make your life easier and uh, the quality of life really, really improved. And you can do the same for, for selling stuff as well uh, by creating groups. For example, you want to purchase uh, enchanting items, then you can make an auctioning group for, for, um, uh, for, for enchant items, for example. So say I want to purchase uh, these drainic, drainic dusts. Uh, in enchanting here, then I can create an operation, for example, from for uh, for selling stuff. I can click here, click call it uh, enchant sell. Uh, would you add this operation to enchanting? Yes, I would. And then uh, you can add uh, certain like stack sizes. You want to deposit automatically. Uh, how long you want the auctions to be? So you can set it to be 48 hours. You can post the cap to be. Um, how many auctions you want to cap the posts at, let's say, you can use 5, you can use 0 to have no, so I'm going to put 0 to have no post cap. Uh, you can select the sack sizes, so let's say I want to sell things at like a size of 20, uh, I want to keep uh, at least 200 in my in my bank or in my inventory, for of Drainic Dust for example, um, and if I have many expired items then I I won't be putting them on. So if I have like three, two expires on, I won't be if I put two there. Um, how much should I sell them for? The, the prices here, you have to put these in automatically. Uh, you should probably view uh, the, the current pricing for, for the item. And I find this to be quite a hard because you need to keep adjusting things for the, for the group. It makes things quite difficult. So I suggest that you make smaller groups that are easy to handle, for example, and a group with one item at a time to make things a little more, more easy, uh, easy on yourself. So I'm going to delete this thing because I don't really have to. I, I find it more easy to just just shift click the item and sell them uh, like this. So uh, yeah, that's that's basically the auctioning function here uh, and the shopping function uh, working working my way. You can also start scans for posts here. This is really nice. So you can select uh, this is for for uh, for sh buying stuff. Uh, so let's say I want to find some stuff that it has under 30 minutes left and they have um, like a low price. So I select short under 30 minutes and I start a, a, a post scan. And now the uh, the thing here will will start to to show me all the. Uh, ah, hang on. So I can filter stuff I want to want to get and uh, have a lot of fun with. Uh, with groups, but I haven't really added any groups here. Uh, but if I wanted to buy a lot of draining dust, for example, I could uh, make a, a comp post search here for, for all draining dusts, and then it would show me, uh, depending on my criteria for the group, which items I should buy and stuff like that. Another cool thing thing is you can save searches. So uh, you can save, for example, uh, Savage Blood searches uh, that I've done recently. They get saved in uh, in this, this part here. Um, so here are all the searches I've made for for the auction house, for example, if I want to buy Elixirs of the Rapid Mind, uh, then it, I can just click on previous searches I have that are saved here automatically. So that's really nice if you forget the name of the thing you search for, which happens to me a lot of the time. So yeah, that's how. Uh, you can see this thing is a little bit cheaper than the other ones, uh, or not by much though, 1%. But you can uh, safely buy a lot of this stuff and resell them for for at 100%, for example, and earn money that way. That's really nice uh, way to to get some gold if you're if you have some disposable income and you wanna uh, wanna make it, make your fortune a little bigger. So the last thing I wanted to show you, I, I logged onto my other character right here, my Pandaren. He is basically an enchanter as well. And as you can see, this is the last function I want to show you, TSM destroying. So this one works by simply having these items that you haven't really um, added any groups to. They can, or, or they can be included in the group as well, but uh, that doesn't really matter. 
but uh, these can be disenchanted here uh, in sequence. So as you can see, some of these items can't be dis disenchanted. For example, the, the tormented spoulders. And if I click on an item here by simply left clicking on it, it will be removed and so-called ignore here. As you can see, ignoring all sky strode katana of the bear of the boar here. Uh, if you shift like, left click on something, it will be uh, ignored permanently. And oh, you can enchant, disenchant these things by, oh my god, Ronin, you can shut up, man! Raise your head to the sky, blah, 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 blah. Shut up, Ronin. We know you are, are so annoying. Anyway, so if you want to de destroy things, you can simply click destroy next, and it'll disenchant the Shadow Gorge gauntlets. Uh, alternatively, you can use the macro that I we talked about previously, move that one down to your action bars, and then... Simply click that one. It should have included the TSM destroy button. Uh, if not, then you can use a separate add-on by simply just having that one. And it should work, although it doesn't now because uh, it tries to disenchant an item that has been disenchanted already. Uh, it tries to disenchant these tormented gauntlets, I believe. Okay, so I'm gonna use the macro now, and there we go. That's how it works. So here we go. You can see the, the item has been disenchanted, and this is really a lot more useful if you're using uh, a milling, for example, which requires you to keep uh, keep milling uh, milling items um, or, or herbs or stuff you have a lot of. So yeah, that's TSM. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you make a lot of gold by utilizing these features, saving you a lot of time, and doing stuff. If you want to make want me to make another video about something, then make a response or comment in the the field below, and check out the video description for uh, links and stuff. Ronin, oh my God, stop interrupting me, man! I should probably not be in Dollar Hunter while recording stuff because he keeps talking like a maniac, even more than me uh, anyway uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys the next time and as uh, always subscribe or like the video or dislike it if you didn't like it and I'll see you next time and check out the two other videos that are on the screen right now okay yeah, thanks man or, or woman bye and have fun making gold oh yeah bye bye